All right, Zach, in this next video, we're going to talk about another area that you can get better as a hitter, and it all has to do with our balance with our lower half. Now, you talked to me today about the fact that you're concerned a little bit that you stride away from the pitcher. Well, we're going to talk a little bit about how you can get better with the balance so that you're not so off-centered when your front foot gets down. Okay, and we're just going to begin here with Jim Tomey, and we're going to talk about his first move. And that's simply what he does with his backside during his negative move. So you're going to see here he's in a stance position. And I want you to notice how his knees are inside of his feet. This is very important for balance. We always want to keep our knees inside of our feet because that centers us, okay? Now, when he begins his negative move, you're going to notice that this back knee always stays inside this foot. So as we take him forward here, there's his little heel lift. You can see here. He's getting prepared to stride forward. His belly button goes back a little bit. But look at how the knee stays inside the back foot. And what he's doing is he's loading weight against the inside of his back leg. He's not letting it drift this way. Because as soon as he does that, it's going gonna, it's gonna to make him off-centered and off-balance. And then he's going to be working uphill. And we never want to work uphill as a hitter. Now, if we take a look at you on the left-hand side here, we're going to put a little blue dot around your belly button, and I want you to notice the position of your knee and your back foot. Notice how your knee is kind of over your back foot. In your stance, what I want you to try to do is I want you to try to get this knee in this way a little bit more because that's going to center you. Okay, the next thing I want you to work on is what you do during your negative move. Watch here as you get ready to stride how far you rock back. Again. And look here, when you rock back, how everything begins to work uphill. Look at how your knee, again, goes outside of your back foot. And so now your weight's on the outside of your back leg, which is going to make you off balance. And look here, how your hips start to go up and your shoulders start to go up. So we're working uphill, as opposed to Jim Tomey, where everything stays square. The knees stay square, the hips stay square, the shoulders stay square in this negative move. And doing all of this, keeping the weight on the inside of the back leg, the knee inside the foot, the hips, knees, shoulders square, is going to help him stay balanced as he attacks and gets to his launch position right here. Notice once again, knees equally bent, knees inside the feet, hips are square, and the shoulders are slightly turned in. Now, when you start to work forward in your positive move, watch how it all works uphill. And so when your front foot lands right here, take a look at your hips and your knees and your shoulders. You're fighting an uphill battle here, and it's killing your balance. So the first step for you is to work on keeping the knee inside the foot during the stance. Maintain that relationship during your negative move, and that's going to help you work balanced into your stride. 